Good morning, guys. You'll never guess what we're going to make today. Since Halloween is just around the corner, especially when you're making things and doing DIYs, you've got to start early. I've been looking on Pinterest and I found these cutest little uh, jar DIYs. I thought they were adorable. I have done ghosts before with um, cheesecloth and stiffener, but what I saw on Pinterest I thought was absolutely adorable. And they're called My Pet Ghost in a Jar. You can embellish these to the nines or you can just leave it very plain. I'm going to kind of go halfway, half and half. So what I have is cheesecloth. You can get it anywhere, grocery store, craft store, anywhere. A spaghetti jar, and you all know how I love decorating with spaghetti jars. Stiffy, it's a fabric stiffener. You can also use starch. I'm going to use a ping pong ball because what they showed is wooden um, uh, craft balls, but I'm going to use a ping pong because I'm not. I don't want to spend any money. And I have different kinds of ribbon, and my colors. Oh, my black one's over there, but my colors are going to be purple, green, and black for the most part. For the body, I'm going to use a little wooden spool that I had, and this is a chopstick from the takeout place, the Chinese pickup sticks. I always get a couple extra packages of chopsticks because I use them for so many things, and then I just keep them on hand. Also, you guys know that I keep any kind of packaging that I get when I buy something, and this is again packaging, I'm gonna use this as well. And a little bit of wire, and I might, I don't know yet, I might use this battery operated tea light, we'll see, and some hot glue. Okay, so with that, stick around, and we're gonna make our very own pet ghost in a jar. Okay, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure to where I want this chopstick to go. So I don't want my ghost going to the very top of the jar. And I ha you have to keep in mind, I still have to put what's going to be the head of the ghost. So I'll have to cut the dowel down a little bit further because I have to make room for the ping pong ball. So I'm going to take some wire cutters, and I hope that these work. They're pretty heavy. So I'm going to go ahead and cut down the dowel, and then when I get done with that, I'm going to put the ping pong ball on top, and then I'll be back. Okay, the wires cut the uh, chopstick like a charm. So what I did, because the ping pong ball doesn't have a hole in it, I took a piece of wire, and I heated the tip of it up and then I just put it to the um, ping pong ball and it went right through and made a hole and then I just made it a little bit bigger and then I'm just going to put the ping pong ball into this chopstick so now you have the head of the ghost the body and I'm going to put it into the spool use this and I don't know that I will but I did cut a little piece out just in the event that this was too top heavy and I needed something to anchor this with I may just try to hot glue the body onto here let me show you if I can see it better um, the body onto the lid of the spaghetti jar okay I have the stiffy in a container and I think I am going to put glue a little bit of this packing in to the lid and then I took and measured 
about to where I want my cheesecloth. Um, and I want it obviously to hang down further. So I'm going to double it up. I'm going to double double it up, and I made it longer. I can always cut, but I don't want it too short. So now. glue's hot enough. See if the glue's hot enough. Yeah, it is. Now it is. Oof. And I'm not too worried about how this looks because the uh, cheesecloth will cover it. I think I'll glue this too. And I'm just going to glue it at the very tip. I don't even know. It may even make that hole bigger because it might melt it. I don't know. Okay, let that sit for a minute. make a little hole. I'm doing this because I want that spool to nest into something, hopefully, so it doesn't... Uh... The only thing I don't like about this particular packing is it sticks to everything, to your fingers and So now I have this glued into here. Now I want to make the arms. I'm not going to need, I wonder if I should make the arms out of this or the wire. You know what, I think I'm going to try it out of the, this. And watch, I'll show you how good this cuts. that the jar always kind of check to make sure whatever you're doing is going to clear the jar okay so you can see that this just clears it. and this is what I was talking about um, when you're cutting down the dowel because you got to make room for the head of the um, ghost actually I could even go in further Oh, that's okay. Now I got to decide if I want to use the wood. Again, I got to make sure I'm clearing. I'll try this and see. Cut a little longer. You can always cut down, but you can't add, so. Okay. 
See, I don't know if it's going to stick. We'll see. If it doesn't... And I don't think it's going to... Don't think so, kids. Now, I could wrap a little bit of thread around, you know what I mean, and adhere it that way. Basically, you're making an armature out of the chopstick wire ping pong ball. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. You've got to be really careful that it's going to clear to get it off and on. This does clear, but barely without hitting. I think I want the arms to go up, too. I wonder if the wood would have been better. I don't know. I always sit and guess myself. Oh, look. Maybe I could adhere. I could glue this on here Maybe that's what I'll do because this is really flimsy <clears throat> well let's see what happens Okay, I'm going to let that dry, and then I'll be back when that's ready to be draped. Okay, so now I think that it's set up enough. I doubled up the cheesecloth, and I'm going to put it in to the mixture. Put it into the mixture. I'm not wearing gloves because this is uh, I'm not wearing gloves because I can just wash my hands with soap and water and it comes right out. I just want to make sure that the cheesecloth is saturated. Unfold it. Okay. When I was a kid, I used to hate playing in the mud. All my friends used to like to make mud pies. I hated the feeling, especially when the mud would start to dry. Ugh. Never liked it. I don't mind this though. I used to like Play-Doh. I still do. I play Play-Doh with my grandkids. Actually, I love Play-Doh. All right, let's see. And I, oh, by the way, I have this on freezer paper because it won't stick because it has a waxy film on one side. Remember if this has a longer
And I think I'm going to tie a little bit of string here. Oh, it's already cute. Now, I didn't do it long enough to where you, I didn't do it long enough to where it hid this. No problem. I'll just get something to put around here like moss or something. Might even look cute that way. Well, you know what? I could. Again, we've got to keep in mind we are having to clear. Oh, cute. Oh my gosh, that's cute. Okay. Okay, I'll be back. I've got to wash my hands and then get some string and I'll be back and we'll tie this. Okay, guys, what I did is I went into my uh, craft closet and got out some... I don't even know where this came from. But it's cording. And then I got some little eyeballs that I'm using for something else for a Christmas DIY and then you know the looms that the, the little girls were using a couple years ago I can't remember what, what did they make out of these help me uh, my granddaughter made them ah shoot because I remember I got her a kit were they bracelets I think they were bracelets anyway I'm gonna I think I'm gonna well, now that I'm looking at it, it's been a few minutes, maybe I'm not going to because it adhered enough. You know what? Do I... I don't know if I want it to... kind of like it like that. I love the way I talk to myself on camera. That's, that's cool. Um, well, I'm going to make a couple of these, so let's see what happens. And it's white, so you're not really going to... I can always cut it off, too. Yeah, and you see the wire? That's why I wanted the wire, because it kind of gives it a little bit of... I don't know, I just think it's cute that way. I just want it to be flowy, so I'm not. And you got to decide how you want the uh, cheesecloth to be before it dries, because once it dries, you're not going to be able to change it. Okay, let's see. You know what's funny? I have a craft room. I mean, a actual craft room and I always end up coming down in my kitchen it's because I have a sink and the lighting's better <laughs> oh anyway okay I'm still going to put something around the bottom here I'm not sure yet what but there he is so far and I guess this is going to be a he I better make a she So when the cheesecloth dries, I'll be back and we will put the eyes on and I'll decide what I'm going to put on the bottom and how I'm going to embellish the jar. Okay, guys, I've been on a scavenger hunt. And I'm finally back with you. Okay. One thing I should have done and I didn't is, what was I thinking? I should have painted the lid before I did any of this. Then I went up and I was looking through my scrapbook paper and I found these. So I might use some of this in it. I'm not sure yet. So, and then I punched out a couple of these banner, little banner pieces. I'm still waiting for him to dry. So as soon as I decide what I'm going to do, and I know I'm going to do another one, so I'm probably going to get that prepped, the jar right now, and I'm going to do it the right way. 
I love the way I take you along these little trips with me. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I've got my black gesso. So I'm going to paint the Barilla first, which is what I should have done with the other spaghetti jar. You don't even have to do the lid, but you want it to look decent. Just knowing what you're most concerned with is the rim. Okay, here goes nothing. I don't want any of this black getting on that ghost. There's no way I could do anything. Okay, should I? Okay, should I? Okay, what I've done is I have painted the lid a second time for the second pet ghost. And I'm going to glue on the letters onto this little banner that I punched out. I think I'll have him holding, I think I'll have this one holding a banner that says boo. And another one I think I'll have holding maybe a black cat. So I'm not cutting right along the actual letter. I'm just kind of cutting the shape. As soon as I get these letters done, I'm just waiting for this to dry. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another ghost and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, here's some embellishments. Well, like I said, I'm using ribbon and I might use some scrap paper. I might cut things out from it. Then again, I'm thinking I might go to the 99 cent store or Dollar Tree and look at some picks to embellish with. I'm not sure yet, so we'll just wait and see, and I'll be back. Okay guys, let me show you what I did with this second armature. I did the same thing, only I didn't put it on the um, styrofoam, and I painted this black and the inside a little bit. So that's the way I would do it. But you know what, when you're creating something, you, you learn through your mistakes. So. That's that. All right, so I'm going to measure this about to here. Love tap. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do another uh, DIY with the cheesecloth or not. I doubt it. Okay guys, the first one is dry, pretty dry. And I put the eyes on and I put a little bit of Spanish moss down here. Not sure yet, I'm still going to embellish. And then the second one I just got done draping and I, I really recommend painting before you do anything because if you notice this one the paint didn't stay on I'm gonna put ribbon I'm not worried about it but for a cleaner look I would uh, paint the lid so I'm gonna let this one dry and I'm gonna decide try to think how I'm going to embellish these and then I'll be back to show you Okay, what I did is I took this off of the um, little styrofoam in here. 
it was just too tall. I didn't like how tall it was, and I was still able to. Um, so now I'm putting some of the black ribbon. Okay. Thank goodness this is the perfect width. Okay. And like I said, you're not going to see the bottom. If I was to do it over again, and I know I could do it now, but for some reason it did not want to adhere. For some reason it did not, that paint did not want to adhere to this particular lid. So I don't know what the deal was. Okay. All right, so there is the ribbon, that was easy enough, and now I'm just going to, I'm going to go ahead and just glue, So I don't think you even need the styrofoam, to be honest with you. Woo! Just dropped it. All right. So now I'm just going to let that sit for a minute. Got to make sure it's in the middle so when I put the jar on it. There we go. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, you guys, I'm done with one. What do you think? What I did is I wanted it to be up on something, and I couldn't think of what, and then I thought of a candlestick. <clears throat> so I didn't paint the candlestick. I was going to paint it black, but I liked it because it matched the clear in the jar. So what I did is I took some of the trim and I put it around the jar and then with the punch I punched out the banner like you saw and I showed you how I cut the letters and that was from a piece of scrapbooking paper and then I put a little bit more up here so it wouldn't be so plain and then down here I layered some of that with ribbon and then I put some black and green I really like the way it turned out I don't know how I'm gonna do the second one and I'm not sure that I'm going to put it in a jar. I might put it in something else. I have kind of an idea of what I want to do. Not positive yet. It might go in a jar. I'm not sure. But I just wanted to show you guys the finished product of it. And if I were you, I would try to make one. I think they're adorable. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer, so hold on. And then I layered the ribbons. And I just put it next to a couple of fall leaves, and that's from a piece of scrapbook paper, this trick-or-treat with the little cat. I love that. So there is my pet ghost. Like I said, I'm going to make another one. I just don't know if it's going to be in a jar. I'm not sure. The other one's still drying, but I wanted to get this out to you. So, guys, I hope you have a great day, and remember the world's a better place because you're in it. Talk to you soon. Bye. Guys, I'm up in my craft room, and we are finishing the ghost, our pet ghost. Oh, my gosh. Okay, remember? Why is this sweating all of a sudden? That's weird. But anyway... Here is one of them. And look, I got this cup from the Dollar Tree. I made another ghost, and now I'm embellishing it. So let's do this together. Okay, all I did is I put a piece of styrofoam down at the bottom, 
put the ghost inside, cut up a piece of the pick, and then we have to, let's see, let me put this one down here, put the eyes on. I'm scared of this glue because this one is really hot. Okay, so here are the eyes. The eyes are on now. And remember the pick that I got? Well, I'm going to cut this part and give it to this one. And then the other part, I think I'll embellish the top. I think. Guys, guess what we're doing? We are finishing our pet ghost. Yes, we are. All right, I'm up in my craft room now. Before we were in the kitchen finishing these guys up as we were draping them. But now, I am going to finish this guy. I'm going to put, I think, something on top. I'm going to put a um, some of the pick and stuff. I think some of this on top here. I think that'll be cute. And then this one, I got this cup from Dollar Tree. And it's got a wide mouth on it. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking, because remember I put them on the lid. And it fits in here really good. And I have a piece of that styrofoam. So I'm just going to sit him in there. I'm not going to glue anything to the cup. And then I'm just going to stick some of this pick. And it can be put into the... Uh, it can be put into the styrofoam. that there. Okay. So that's going to go there. And then I took this off of the pick. And I think but I want him to be where you can see the handle so you know he's in a cup. Putting a little tool in, and that way you're not seeing the um, styrofoam. Now I will glue, I think I will glue this on so it looks like he's holding the pumpkin. dry for a minute. So I'm letting this dry onto him. So there you go with that. Anyway, so I put the little pumpkin that came off of the pick, and I got this at Hobby Lobby. It's the only pick they had as far as Halloween, for now anyway. Um, so now, and I'm moving these around to see how I like them. Then I'm going to add a piece of the candy corn, probably right here. Okay, so there's that. And now what I could do, I want you to be able to see it, I'm going to knock that water over, 
Um, I bought these at the Dollar Tree. And I think I'll put one down here on the um, cup. I think. And they're just a stick-on, so it's no big deal. If I don't like it, I can always take it off. But now, oh, I don't know what color. Uh, oh, these are cool. They're not paper, and they're, look, they're where you can kind of manipulate them. You know what? I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to do a couple of them. So there you go. And then I'll take pictures so you can see it a little bit better. And I don't know if I told you before or not, but when you have plastic like this, you know when you make shaker cards or anything, keep this. Because this side is perfectly fine. And you can line whatever you're using to make a shaker card. Because you know how you have to use the acetate? Just use that. Save yourself some money. Okay, so I'm just going to make a little bow. Because I wanted her to be a little girl. Because the one, my other one in the jar is a boy. Why do I know that? I don't know. It just reminded, he just reminded me he was a boy and she reminded me she was a girl. You know what would be cute? I just thought of this. Oh my gosh, I just thought of this. Get some good ideas when I'm talking to you guys. Oh, cute. You know what? Take a little bit of this cheesecloth. Oh, cute. Okay. I'm going to cut a piece of this cheesecloth. <laughs> oh, I just had a cute idea. Well, I think it's cute anyway. Can you guess what I'm going to do? going to have pigtails. Let's see how this, I just want to kind of get a visual. Yeah, it's cute. Okay. All right, let's see. you guys do this too? You start getting ideas as you're working on something. One pigtail. Just a little bit. I love little pigtails on girls. I'm 
wonder. Now I'm. Okay, what's. What's going to make that. I mean, make this really cute, I think. Is the uh, bows. Okay, guys, look at her. Look how cute she turned out. Oh my gosh, she is cute. I love her. So there is my pet ghost that decided to sit in a cup instead of a jar. Now, let's go ahead and take care of her brother. He likes the jar. And why there's condensation in this jar is beyond me because it's been like this for a week and it didn't have it. All I can think of is I had it by the sun and maybe the um, Mod Podge or something. I don't know. Because I don't think I can get the lid off now. I think I glued it if I'm not mistaken. Oh no, I can. Okay. What I'll do is once I'm done with the lid, I'll open this just so the air can get into it. Cool. Okay. That's cool. All right. So, let's see. There she is. I'm trying to see where you can see this. And there he is. Okay. Now, what do I want to do? How do I want to do it? I do want to use this because they'll match. So, okay, let's fan that out. I really like tool. Hold on, what is wrong with this thing? I want to leave it like that for now. And then... 
guess I'll put this here because I want to see how that has the orange in it. I want it to kind of, and that will make a way for this, I hope, because the tool kind of will help it stand up, I'm hoping. Oh, that's what I can do. So I would like to keep all of this together and not cut this part. But it has to adhere to something. And I don't know if that's going to work. Because it might be too top heavy. Okay. Okay, cool. It's a little wobbly, but it's not like it's going anywhere. So, that's it, guys. I'll take pictures. My little pet ghost in a jar. Check them out on Pinterest. They have a lot of different ones that people make. There's his sister. I'm very pleased with the way these turned out. Very cute. So there you go. Okay, let's go over a little bit how I, what I did and show you. I took some of the stickers from the Dollar Tree and they have a sticky on the back of them. So I went ahead and I just glued how many did I put? Three. Three of the boo. Okay. And then up here, I put a little bit of tulle so it would hide the styrofoam. And then glued on the pumpkin. And then I decided I wanted her to be a her and I didn't want just a bow. So I made her pigtails out of the cheesecloth. And then took apart some of the pick that I got from Hobby Lobby and put it into this mug. What a cute hostess gift if you went to a Halloween party. You guys, seriously. I mean, if I had a Halloween party, I would love to receive something like that. Or, you guys, I just thought of something. What about if you made this and you put in tool, you put candy in the tool, kind of like make it a bag, and put it on someone's front porch and they've been booed. Oh my gosh, how cute would that be? Okay, so there's that. Then, her brother, I took this spaghetti jar and see the condensation right there? I don't know if you can or not, but I don't know what's doing that. It was by the sun, so maybe that's it. So I'm opening it up to air it out, but right now I just want to shut it to show you. Okay, I took the spaghetti jar, cleaned it up, and then um, cut, not, I didn't cut out, I punched out these little banner pieces. And then from a piece of uh, scrapbook paper, I did cut out the boo. And then put some of the th uh, string, and then covered the jar with ribbon. And then just used the rest of the pick that I used for his sister, and put it up on top and glued it with some tulle. How cute. Really like the way these turned out. Really, really, really like it. So, I will take some still pictures. Hope you like it. Hope you try it. And I'll be talking to you soon. You take care, guys. Bye. Okay, I hope you like it. And always remember what I told you from the very beginning. The world's a better place because you're in it. Don't ever forget that. You take care guys, bye.
Thank you.